Hey everybody, welcome to KO Airbrushing Tutorials. I can't say Tuesday because it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday today. Had a bit of a technical difficulty yesterday and uh, yeah, had to start over. So <laughs> sorry about the delay. Um, anyway, uh, because of that, the bottle that I was going to base coat for you guys has already been done and I have no video of it. Um, the one panel that we started on has already been done and I have no video of it. I did, however, prep another panel. So we are going to base coat another panel. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go from there. We'll, we'll get the clear coating done um, maybe later today, tomorrow, and get it up right away. Um, so sorry about the delay. And yeah, we'll get turned around. We'll get right to the base coat. Uh, this is going to be the HOK, House of Color. Um, the Createx and everything else will work just fine. So that's not a big issue. We're using the Createx uh, auto, auto born, auto sealer, uh, auto air sealer. So that works with water base or solvent base. So anyway, yeah, we'll get turned around here and we'll get to it. Yeah, so like I was saying yesterday, I had a bit of a technical glitch. <laughs> I had to start this video over. So unfortunately, the other panel that we had primed is already painted. The bottle is already painted, so I did up this other panel um, so that we can base coat it. What I did with this one is unlike the other one that I primed with red, this has all been primed with black. <clears throat> so that's basically the only real difference. <clears throat> so um, working with the House of Color Black Pearl, and we'll throw down the first coat of the base. And so when you're doing this again, just like with the primer, you want to do about half of the width of the fan overlap, and that way you get nice, even coverage. And I usually like to give the ends an extra shot. And I'm going to go a little bit wet down here just because I had that low pressure thing right at the beginning. So I'm just going to... There we go. Okay, so that's got to sit for about 15 minutes before we can... Or 10 minutes before we can hit it with the next coat. It needs to flash off. So I'm just going to sit my brush down. And so for this one here, the gun that I'm using to spray the base coat would be the equivalent of an Iwata LPH-80. The one I'm using is a, a gun made by a company called Lemmer. Uh, works just fine. So normally what I do, I use my Lemmer to spray my base colors and then I use my Iwata for specifically clears. So when we do the clear coat on this, we will be using the Iwata LPH-80. Um, for base coat, like I said, I'm using House of Color, but again, you can use the Createx colors without any problem. They're awesome as well. Um, basically with these, you can spray them as a base coat without even mixing them. Um, just add a little bit of 40-30 to them, possibly a little bit of, if depending on what you're doing. Like Because I do automotive style stuff, I would actually use the automotive reducer, so the 40-20 the is what I would use mixed in my Createx paints. Um, so like I said, with me, I'm using the House of Color. Let me just grab the can. So in this case, what I'm using is just Shimmer and PBC 43 Black Pearl. So that's what I'm using on this one. And the nice thing about it, like once you're done the base coat, you can candy over top of it if you want. You, there's all sorts of stuff you can do. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is because I've I got the black pearl on here, but I've got a black, just a plain black border. So once the black pearl is sprayed, you will be able to see that there's quite a bit of difference between it and just a, a straight black. <clears throat> 
So I'll just give this a couple of minutes to flash off and we'll be back with the second coat. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments underneath. If you have any ideas for tutorials, same thing, leave them underneath. Um, if you think the videos are good, please like, share, comment, of course. Um, yeah, so yeah, just give me a couple minutes, let this flash off, and we'll get back to it. Okay, back for the second coat. Thing. You still want to make sure that you get that half a pan overlap. covering pretty good now you only need to do three coats to get really really good coverage so again 10 minutes we we'll do the third coat okay time for the third coat so same thing half overlap on your fan pass gives you nice even coverage and this will be the last coat that's needed this is the third coat that should be more than enough if you get to this stage and you find you're still a little bit light you can always go a little bit heavier with the third coat without any problem whatsoever. <clears throat> and these panels will be eventually getting mural, of course. To start off with though, uh, next week I will do the <clears throat> clear, or not next week, in the next couple of days, probably tomorrow actually. I'm gonna do the clear coat. Okay, so for right now, that's three coats on, and I will grab the other panel and show you exactly what that looks like when it's dry. Because this is still wet, so I'm just gonna move this. We're going through a time warp. Where are we gonna put it? Right there, we'll do now. Okay. So this is the completed panel. So you can very definitely see the difference in the color between the pearl black and the, the black border. And like I said, when we do the clear coat on this tomorrow, you're going to notice an even bigger change. Yes, the black on the border is going to gloss, but the pearl in the middle is just going to sparkle when it's done. It's a, it's a very, very cool paint using a pearl. If it's done right, it looks amazing. Okay, so that's the other panel. The one that we just sprayed is going to look exactly like this when it's dry and unmasked. And unfortunately, like I said, I lost the video of spraying the bottle. But again, black pearl on this. And when it gets cleared, it's going to really, really pop. And like I was saying earlier, um, as long as you're using that auto air or uh, auto borne sealer, you can use pretty much any paint over it. So like I showed you the House of Color, I showed you the Createx, so water, be, uh, water base as opposed to a solvent base. Um, but any of that stuff, it's, it's going to work like any kind of paint <clears throat> will work over top of that sealer pretty much as long as it's a water base or a solvent base, that stuff's going to work. So anyway, like I said, with the uh, with the clear coats, um, normally, and, and on all of these, 
that's three coats. And that is a very, very complete coverage. I don't see any spots that have been missed. Nothing like that. So this, this panel is pretty much ready for paint. <clears throat> but I am going to clear coat it first, let it set, scuff it, and then do the painting on it. Um, so there won't be any painting done on this before I do the clear. I want to show you guys the clear on just a base paint so you can see what it's going to do. And, uh, and yeah, and then we will paint something on this and clear it again. <clears throat> okay, everybody. Um, thank you very much for supporting KO Airbrushing and Design Tutorials. And my apologies on it being late. Like I said, I had some technical difficulties yesterday. And things just kind of worked out that way. Uh, yeah. So like I said, I'll do the, the clear coating video I will do tomorrow. So that'll be cleared. The bottle will be cleared. The other panel that we just sprayed will be cleared. And uh, and then we can go from there. All right. Well, thanks everybody for supporting KOR Brushing Tutorials. And uh, I will see you again here tomorrow. Uh, and if you feel up to it, join us over on the Vamps Lounge on KOR Brushing and Design for live feeds of uh, client work. Uh, you're more than welcome to join in. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you later.